last thing I'm gonna show you quickly is a lot of people are concerned about trimming through the bottom of their pots. Um, and so I'm gonna show you kind of a more advanced trimming technique that you can use to make sure that you don't trim through. So the first thing you should know is how thick the bottom is. So you can test that with a needle tool and you can do this even if you're not using this technique. Um, you're gonna take your needle tool and you're gonna poke through the bottom and then you're gonna mark with your finger where the bottom of your cup is. And then when you pull it out of the clay, you can see how thick the bottom actually is. So you know how far you can go down. I'm just gonna smooth that out, rub the clay back in there. All right. So remember when we poked through the bottom, we knew it was about that thick. We had about a quarter of an inch to work with. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try not to trim the very middle of this very much. I can clean this edge up, just so it's not bumpy. And you can use this for any trimming method that you want to do, um, whether it's a foot ring or just a simple bottom. What you're going to do is you're going to draw a circle in the very middle, and that part you're not going to touch. You're going to leave it alone. In French, I think that's ne touche pas, do not touch. Uh, then what I'm going to do is go about my trimming as usual. I'm going to make the edges really clean. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start to do the middle, and whether this is a foot ring or a simple bottom, it's the same thing. You're gonna keep going, but once you get to that line, you're gonna know to stop. Don't touch it. Because what that little button is gonna tell you is that's gonna tell you how far you've already trimmed down. Because you can look at that and say, oh, I've trimmed down like an eighth of an inch. Awesome, I know I have a little bit more to go. And then as you make it even deeper, you're like, ah, I'm getting kind of close to a quarter of an inch. Probably shouldn't go that much further because I know it wasn't that deep to start with. Then you smooth all this out. You can even do your cool glazing line trick or finish your foot ring, smooth it out however you want. And then once you know you're all the way done, everything else, then you can come back through and cut off the button. But it's like a little marker to tell you how far you've gone down. And for some people who are really concerned about trimming through the bottom of their pots, it's kind of like a safety net. Just don't forget, even if you do that, reverse the wheel's direction and smooth it out. We don't want anyone to know we trimmed it. I want them to think, how did they do that? Good luck. I know you probably have a bunch of pots you're eager to go trim, and uh, I hope it all goes well for you. People think that I just talk to myself when I'm doing stuff like this, but oh no, if there was no one in the studio, I would still be talking to myself. And the studio ghosts. And the studio ghosts.